Start raw development with Silkipix. Number 5. White Balance Adjustment. In raw development, the three key parameters are exposure, tone, and white balance. This video introduces white balance adjustment in Silkipix. White balance is used to correct color casts caused by different light sources and to balance the overall tone of a photo. Natural light at different times of day or artificial light like fluorescent lamps can all affect color. Silkipix offers presets and tools to help reduce these color casts and reproduce natural tones. It also allows for creative adjustments to add a unique atmosphere to an image. Now let's explore the white balance features in Silkipix. First, the preset taste. These presets include three types of automatic white balance, as well as settings designed for outdoor shooting or shooting under fluorescent lighting. Next is the gray balance tool. This allows you to select an area on the preview screen that appears white or gray, and automatically sets the white balance based on your selection. Then there is the skin color tool which automatically adjusts exposure and white balance based on the selected skin color. The auto area specification tool lets you adjust the white balance based on the light source in a specified area. The color temperature adjustment slider adjusts the overall color cast from blue to orange. The color deflection adjustment slider adjusts the overall color cast from green to magenta. The dark adjustment slider corrects color casts in the dark areas of the image. The multi-light source compensation slider reduces color shifts caused by multiple light sources in the same scene. Finally, the add parameters taste feature lets you save your custom white balance settings as a taste, which can be reused alongside the presets. Now let's take a look at the effects of each function. First, the presets. There are three types of auto white balance, seven presets for outdoor shooting, six for fluorescent and other lighting, and three for flash photography. Auto Absolute. Automatically determines the optimal white balance and adjusts to remove color casts caused by light sources as much as possible. Auto Natural. Automatically determines the optimal white balance and adjusts to perceptually reproduce the color of the light source. Suitable when aiming to retain the atmosphere of the lighting rather than fully correcting the color cast. These two are usually recommended first. Auto Underwater. Automatically determines the optimal white balance and reduces the strong blue cast typical of underwater photos. While the underwater photo controller allows for more detailed adjustments, this option offers a quick and easy way to improve color. Thanks to Silkipix's unique technology, it helps restore the natural colors of underwater scenes beautifully. Next, let's take a look at the presets other than auto. These are useful when automatic adjustment does not produce the desired result or when aiming to add a distinctive atmosphere to an image. White balance presets have various names such as daylight and fluorescent. In general, selecting a preset that matches the light source used during shooting helps reduce unwanted color casts. However, in landscape photography and similar cases, intentionally choosing a different preset can shift colors in a way that enhances expression. Rather than focusing on the preset names, try selecting the one that best matches the look you want to achieve. If the automatic adjustment or presets do not produce the desired colors, the following features will help achieve results that are closer to your ideal. Gray Balance Tool this tool automatically corrects the white balance based on a selected area that should appear white or gray in the image. To activate the gray balance tool, click its icon in the white balance subcontrol panel, choose gray balance tool from the tool menu, or select the corresponding icon from the top toolbar. Once activated, click or drag over an area in the preview or thumbnail that should appear white or neutral gray. The white balance is then adjusted automatically, using that area as a reference. If the image contains a white or gray subject, this tool provides a quick and accurate way to correct the white balance. For even more effective results, Place a gray card or a sheet of white paper near the subject during shooting under the same light source. Skin Color Tool Based on the skin tone specified on the preview image, this tool automatically adjusts exposure and white balance. To activate Skin Color Tool mode, click the icon in the White Balance sub-control, select Tool Skin Color Tool from the menu, or click the corresponding icon in the upper toolbar. In this mode, selecting a skin area by clicking or dragging on the preview or thumbnail image will apply automatic adjustments to both white balance and exposure. If the result is not ideal with a single adjustment, try repeating the operation to find the most suitable setting. Please note that skin tones vary widely from person to person, and the correction result may differ depending on the selected area and the lighting conditions at the time of shooting. In particular, automatic adjustment may not work accurately in cases involving very dark or very bright skin tones, or under complex lighting environments. These outcomes reflect the limitations of the algorithm and are not based on any assumptions regarding specific skin types or preferences. This feature is intended as a supplementary tool designed to accommodate a wide range of skin tones and does not define any standard or ideal for skin color. 
Auto Area Specification Tool. Auto White Balance analyzes the entire image to calculate the white balance automatically. This usually gives good results, but when multiple light sources are present, the colors may not appear as intended. The Auto Area Specification Tool allows selecting a specific area for white balance calculation, prioritizing the light source in that area. When Auto Absolute, Auto Natural, or Auto Underwater is selected, the Auto Area Specification Control appears in the White Balance Subcontrol Panel. Click the Auto Area Specification Tool button or select Auto Area Specification Tool from the Tool menu to switch to Auto Area Specification Tool mode. A frame indicating the Auto Area appears on the preview screen. Drag the handles on the corners or edges of the frame to adjust the size of the area. Drag the handle in the center to move the entire area. When finished, the white balance is recalculated based on the specified area, and the setting is applied. After setting, click the Auto Area Specification Tool button again or select the same item from the menu to exit the tool mode. Use the toggle button to compare before and after adjustment. Clicking the Reset Auto Area Specification button clears the selected area and restores the initial state. Color Temperature Adjustment Slider This slider adjusts the overall tone of the image from blue to orange. It is mainly used to correct color cast caused by natural light, such as sunlight. Color temperature is measured in kelvins. The term comes from the color of light emitted by heated objects, like metal. The adjustment is based on changes in daylight, including reddish light at sunset or bluish light in shaded areas. Use this control to reduce or emphasize color cast from natural light. Color Deflection Adjustment Slider This slider adjusts the overall tint of the image from green to magenta. It is mainly used to correct color cast caused by artificial light. Artificial light, such as fluorescent or LED sources, often has a color bias that sunlight does not. Photos may appear green under fluorescent light, or pink under warm bulbs. This control corrects those effects. If green or magenta tones are too strong, the image can look muddy or unclear. This may also occur under natural light, such as light passing through foliage. Relationship between color temperature and color deflection. White balance adjustment is based on two directions. One adjusts the color from blue to orange. The other shifts it from green to magenta. By combining these two axes, a wide range of color tones can be expressed. White balance is adjusted using both color temperature and color deflection. In natural light, color temperature alone is often sufficient to represent the light source. That's why digital cameras and color meters may indicate only the color temperature. Silkapix introduces an additional parameter called color deflection, allowing for more precise identification of the light source and easier, more accurate white balance adjustment. Now, let's adjust the white balance using both the color temperature adjustment slider and the color deflection adjustment slider. First, use the color temperature adjustment slider to reduce the orange cast. Then use the color deflection adjustment slider to reduce the green cast. Let's compare the image before and after the adjustment. The result should now be much closer to the ideal look. Dark Adjustment Slider This slider is used to correct unwanted color casts that appear in the darker areas of an image. Even when the white balance is correctly set for the brighter areas, shadows may still show a magenta or green tint. By using this slider, such color shifts in the dark areas can be reduced, helping blend the tones more naturally across the image. When adjusting white balance, start by selecting a preset or using the color temperature and color deflection sliders to balance the brighter areas. Then, if a color cast remains in the shadows, use the dark adjustment slider to correct it. Let's look at this photo as an example. Exposure, tone, and white balance have been adjusted using auto, natural. There is a slight magenta cast in the shadowed grass in the foreground, so let's correct it using the dark adjustment slider. Let's compare the image before and after the adjustment. Only the shadows were adjusted appropriately. Multi-light source compensation slider. This slider is used to reduce color casts caused by one of multiple different light sources present within the same image. It is useful in situations where light sources with different color temperatures appear together. For example, when artificial lights with varying wavelengths are mixed, or when both natural light from a window and indoor lighting are captured in an interior scene. Let's take this photo as an example. Exposure, tone, and white balance have been adjusted using auto, natural. There is a green cast visible in the lower right area. Let's reduce it using the multi-light source compensation slider. Let's compare the image before and after the adjustment. The green cast in the lower right has been suppressed. Add parameters taste. In Silkapix, the current development parameters applied to an image can be saved as a taste. Here the focus is on white balance. When the white balance is manually adjusted, the icon next to presets becomes active. Clicking this icon opens the Add Parameters Taste dialog. In the development parameters applied by taste, make sure that white balance is checked. The new taste is displayed as User Taste 1. Clicking Rename allows the name to be changed as desired. 
Click OK to complete the registration. The newly added taste will now appear in the list of white balance presets. This taste can then be applied to other images as well. Being able to control white balance freely can greatly expand the expressive potential of your photos. With Silkipix, even subtle nuances can be adjusted just the way you want. Make the most of it in your creative work. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving it a thumbs up. We'll continue to share useful tips on how to get the best out of Silkipix. Thank you for watching. Silkipix allows you to easily start adjusting and editing images. A trial version is also available, allowing you to experience all features for 30 days free of charge. Please give it a try. If you're starting with raw development, Silkipix.